Neighbors are still shaken over what happened in their community last night. Investigators today are trying to zero in on what caused the blast at West Archwood Street and Bel Air Avenue in Valley Glen. That's where we find Keiko 9's Candace Crone live with the very latest. Candace. Yeah, Chris and Serena, it is still a mystery as to what caused the explosion uh, at the home behind me. You can see LAPD still has it taped off as investigators uh, just showed up and are sifting through uh, some of the rubble here. And all we know that seven homes were damaged. One neighbor risked his life when he heard screaming kids inside the home. I didn't want anything to happen to the kids. I made a decision last night that if anything happened to me, then so be it. Guy Philippe wiped away tears after recalling his harrowing decision to run into his neighbor's home to help. <laughs> Moments after an explosion nearly destroyed the house and sent debris flying everywhere. The structure was really badly damaged. They couldn't get out. Um, the kids, so I lifted a few things get some get uh, the kids out after rescuing three children he went back inside to help other relatives when fire crews arrived to the home on archwood street they found one man with critical burns another was trapped under debris in the garage both were taken to the hospital and suddenly just a giant blast everything shattered in our house um, windows blew off things fell Investigators are now trying to figure out what caused the explosion. They discovered a ruptured gas line after the blast, but do not believe that's what caused it. They did find evidence of a marijuana grow, but cannot confirm if the grow operation was to blame. That explosion does not appear to have been caused by that gas leak. It, the gas leak was subsequent to the actual explosion. Uh, the explosion does not appear to have been caused by a THC extraction lab. Philippe injured his foot by stepping on a nail. His brother Mario called him a hero as he cleaned up the mess, even recalling a time his brother saved him. It's uh, very typical of him. I can go back to when we lived in New York. We had a fire where in uh, the basement of our home, and he carried me on his back for almost two miles in about two and a half feet of snow. Neighbors say they're thankful no one was killed. And back out here live again, you can see LAPD investigators uh, still sifting through the rubble, all the debris at this home. Neighbors tell me that a couple, their three children, and an older woman live there as well as a tenant who had been staying in the garage. Again, the cause is under investigation. We did reach out to the LAPD uh, to see if they've been called here before, if there's any history uh, at this home, and we're still waiting to hear back. We're live in Valley Village, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News.